manufacturers as we are all aware that many of these manufacturers are flooding the market with different kind of light in fact most of these lights are now coming in portable sizes today is going to be about the Corbo COB light so as you can see this is the Corbo CL60R this light actually came in different um, different flavor you have the one that is just day, daylight you have by color and you have full rgb and the one i have here on my table is going to be the full rgb and um, let's see what is inside the box all right guys digital escape here you welcome back to the channel if this is your first time and you find this review informative and you are yet to be a subscriber please do subscribe to the channel welcome back again if you're subscribed already and that take me to like when you open the box this is what we're going to see exactly this is what you get out of the box and when you open it up you have it on this zip When you open the zip, and I believe you have this, which is going to be the strap for the bag, which I don't need right now. And from there, um, I believe you have some documentation, which is going to show you probably the, yeah, this is going to be the documentation. You have this, you're going to have this, uh, you will have this also, which is proprietary reflector, very small, and you have this adapter, which is going to be for the Bowen's mouth. That is the adapter for Bowen's mouth. You put it on the table, and uh, you have the power right here. This is going to be the power adapter with USB-C and this is going to be the power cable outlet that you plug to your power outlet so you have this also is going to be the mount is proprietary you want to be careful with that and lastly you have the light so this is the light right here the back and this is our protective case for the light. Before we dive into this light, let's set it up and look at the specification. What you need to do first is to get your, this is going to be the mount, okay? And you'll probably want to mount this like so. I think this kind of go like so. Either way, it will go inside. Yeah. So that get into that slot right there, and you lock this down. This will give some flexibility to just you know reposition the angle. And right here is going to be your cable management. All you have to do is plug the light right here with USB-C and you open this up. It's going to be what will help you hold your cable in place. So you have that to take the stress off the cable, all right? And uh, the reflector will not actually go on the light or cell because it's small. So for you to put the reflector, what you need to do is you look at these two pin right here. There is a pin, one here, one here. If you look at it, you have one pin, one pin. They go to the side of the light. They have this ding inside. You see that ding? There's another one in there is so that you can put you see that ring that you can put it in here like so 
and it should key in when you push it inside, all right? Yeah. So you want to set it in such a way that it will lock in that hole, all right? Yeah. And I'm very sure that it's not locking in. There is no need for you to kind of... All right, so that's that. Now you can put your... All right, so now you have the light like that. The next thing is to plug this. And the next thing is you go to the back and you power the light on from here. And that is going to power the light on, all right? So, that's going to be the light. And that's how you set it up. I'm gonna turn this off for a second and we go through the spec. First thing I want to say is that this light is modular in the sense that you can stack multiple of these lights together that they will lock in this ray and you have, you know, like more light, uh, light source, which I'm very sure that you can do that. So I would like us to go through the specification and see what is going on with this light, all right? The CRI on this light, according to the manufacturer, is 97 CRI, you know, 97 plus. You have a beam angle without the reflector, which is going to be 120 degree. With the reflector on, it's going to be 15 degree, you know, which means the reflector is 15 degree when you put it on the beam angle, but without the reflector, it's going to be 120 degree, all right? Three feet away, this light will measure um, 2600 lux, and the light is a 60 watt, 60 wattage of light. The power supply to this is going to be 20 volts, and um, it's built with aluminum chassis, and I like that. Okay, so let's go to build quality. I'm going to say that I like most of what I'm saying right here. The body itself is going to serve as the heat sink for this light. And when we look at, let me take this one off. When you look at the light, you will see the radiator, which means that it's going to help you to manage the heat better. Just because this is aluminum, it's going to kind of absorb the heat better. If we have to look at this, um, the the Bowen's mount adapter, which is plastic, every other thing about this thing is aluminum chassis, which is really good. And I believe this light will take a little bit of beating. So, bit quality, I'm going to give this 8 out of 10 and that's going to be my personal opinion and I'm going to go through the light I would like you to I would like to you know tell you what I like and what I don't like about this light but right now let's just go through the fixtures if you look at the back you have this two jog wheel right in there you have the screen and you have another force you know sub menu button and you have your power on and off button okay in this case, the power is not a switch. You need to be aware of that. But at the same time, with the app, if you are mounting this in a place that would be not easily accessible to turn this on and off, I'm very sure that the app will kind of take care of that. And I'm going to show you in a minute because I try it out and it will work. All right? So, you have the set button which is going to be the first. And the next is going to be your rate. You have your effect and you have mode button. These two jog wheel kind of serve as input and selection. All right. So the first at the top is going to be for you to select. All right. When you do that, it selects on the menu when you do that. And the one at the bottom is going to um, actually initialize your selection. 
for example, if I go back to up, which is going to be 27K right now, now I select 27K. If I want to make any change or any effect, I will have to use this one to change it. So right now, I'm just going to go like so. But if I press, it changes intensity incrementally. If you look at that, you can press and it will give you some jump. But if you want to fine tune, you just, you know, roll the wheel. You roll the wheel for fine tuning and you press to jump. All right. So you go back to that. Like also when you look at the dim or the intensity, this will control the intensity when you push, I mean, when you roll it. But if you press it, it's just going to jump. Okay, also it will jump, all right? Just be aware of that. So you can use it to jump to different uh, intensity or you can roll the dial to give you a fine tune, all right? So coming back, we go into the mode button. That's going to be the first thing I want us to do. When you go into the mode, the mode is where you're going to be able to change the light from daylight to Togestin from there is going to give you the RGB functions. So on the RGB functions, you have your hue, saturation, and intensity. Okay, that's what you have there. If you go all the way, you make your selection with the upper wheel and you confirm with the lower one. So if we go back again, So you can change color spectrum just like so with the down wheel and you can get out with the top wheel, okay? So if we go to mode again, it will take us back to the daylight balance or the Togestin and if you press again, it take you to the RGB, all right? Then the next on the button is going to be EFF button, all right? If you press the EFF button that's going to give you effect. So you can press it again to give you different type of effect. All right, on the EFF button. So it's going to give you different effects depending on what you want. And I believe that is a kind of lightning. You have your another lightning type SOS. So the next button on this is going to be the rate after the effect button. The rate button is going to be functioning with the effect button. That's what you need to understand there because not the intensity, but the interval at which the light will keep going on. Now it's like L dot LV1, which means it's just going to be going once per minute or so. When I change it again, it's going to be faster than that. When I change it again, it's going to be faster. So that's the function of the rate, all right? So after that, uh, is net button is going to be your set button. That's where you're going to change the settings on this light, okay? So before I talk about what I don't like about this light, let me tell you what I like about the light. The first thing is the portability of this light. I like it. It's nice. It's not gonna be my key light. I'm gonna buy it for supporting light, backlight, or just to do some paparazzi light, or to give me some color, kind of color effect. That would be the purpose that I will be buying this light. But as that being said, that does not mean that I cannot use this as a key light. It will depend on the situation, but I'm not buying it primarily to be my key light. That's my point, okay? But that does not mean I cannot use that a key light, but primarily it will not be that I'm buying it because I need a key light. That's first thing I want to point out. Second thing I want to point out is that I like the boot quality, like I said before. Now, what I think I don't like about this light is going to be that I don't like the fact that this light is being powered by USB-C. It can be positive and it can be negative. 
It can be positive if this light can be powered by a power bank. That would be good. But if this light actually requires 20 volts before it can be powered on, then I'm not sure if there's any power bank out there that will be able to supply that much juice and last you maybe an hour or even 30 minutes. I don't know if we have such power bank out there. The next thing is going to be the power button. There's going to be a situation for some people that want to use this as some kind of, um, even though you can, I, I, I don't think this can be used with DMS, it's not going to happen. But some people may want to use this to do some kind of, uh, some kind of background, background lighting or hair light from top, whatever, which way you want to use it that will be a little bit away from your reach. You may have problem going up for whatever you mount this light to turn it on and off. All right, because it's just a button. If you do that, put this away from reach, that could be a problem. But in case of the one with switch, all you have to do is just to turn the switch on, plug the cable, fix the light away from wherever you want to fix it. All you need is that the moment you plug the light, it will turn on because you already put the switch to on. And if you're going to switch it off, you just take it off the power outlet and it will switch off. But in the case of this, if you plug the power cable, it's not going to switch on. You still have to press the button because it's a button. It's not a switch. And that is where the apps come in, okay? The app on this Kobo is kind of solve that problem, which I believe I'm going to show you right now. You have to download the app. If you download the app, the app can turn the light off. Just make sure that the plug is on. It can turn the light off and on. And it's going to be off. Now that it's going to be on standby. I believe it's going to be off. The screen is going to go off when you use the app. And you can create multiple scenes with the app, which will link different uh, lights together on, on this. So I have seen two right now, and I can turn it on if I want to. That's the one I'm using as my backlight. I can use this to turn it on and off. All right, so I'm going to add this one. So now that I have the app set up, I can do some effects using the app and uh, I can get out of the effect. I can do color from this to this. I can change the intensity of the light. That'll be the intensity. I can change the color from Togistin to daylight. I can turn it off with the app and I can turn it on with the app. I can go to color and change the color to, you know, I can change the color to different color just using the app and uh, I can turn it off. So the app actually kind of solve that problem of switch if you're going to use it or mount the light in a place that is a little bit out of reach. And I try it out that I use the app to turn it off for like a whole day and I come back the second day and I still use the app to turn it on. Also, I unplug the light from the power source and I leave it for like 10 days and I come back, I plug the light back to the power socket. I plug the light back on, I plug it to the light. I did it not turn the light on using the button on the light. I open the app and I use the app to turn it on. So. 
what I'm trying to say is that if you are going to mount this light out of reach, all you need to do is to use the app to turn it on and off. And for me, in my case, it actually worked for me using the app to turn it on and off. And you can change any settings you want to change using the app when it comes to the light. So if you are trying to get a portable light, I uh, will advise that you check the global light. You check it out. You have it in different flavor. You can get this one that I have, which is the CL60R, the RGB, or you can get the one of bicolor or the regular day light. You have it in that flavor. It's portable, it's lightweight, and I believe this light is gonna be travel worthy. If this is something you're interested, you can pick one up and try it out for yourself and see. That will be my time on the Kobo COB light. If you find this review informative enough, Please like this video, share it, and if you're yet to be a subscriber, please do subscribe on this channel. And that's going to be my time on this one. Until next time, stay blessed. Bye-bye, guys.